Hi everyone, Mike here from Robart, and today we're going to be talking about the pressure gauge, part number 173. So what we have here is part number 173. This is the onboard pressure gauge. And the onboard pressure gauge will come with the pressure gauge, a T, and the instructional diagram. And the instructional diagram shows how the setup works. You have your air coming in through the fill valve to a T, and then it would come up to the retracts this way or you come down to the T and then come over to the pressure gauge. The pressure gauge has the indicator that will come out and each line on the indicator is 20 PSI. And then you go to your air tank. So let's just show this real quick. I'll do a quick setup. And so air line into the pressure gauge, air line into the T airline to the tank and then airline this is I'm just going to connect this direct to the pump so that you now you can see a very basic setup so we can show how this is done I'm going to set my pump to 100 psi So what you have here is the lines that are coming out and we have the one, two, three, four, and five lines shown there. And I did pop that out just a little bit just so that you can really see that fifth line. Normally as the fourth line is, is out, the fifth line is actually right level with the pressure gauge. And that's how you indicate that you're all the way out to the fifth line. It's right in line there. So if you've got any further questions on the pressure gauge, part number 173, just give us a call at 630-584-7616. Check us out online at www.robart.com or follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you so much. Have a great day.